Does anyone have any questions, uh, comments? I do, um, but not on what you just talked about because I thought that was very clear. Um, you know, I think the, um, you know, clearly from looking at these numbers and uh, looking at the reports, our, uh, our financial statements are very solidly put together, and uh, I agree with you. I've seen a lot of audit reports over the years, and seeing this, this few uh, corrections and changes is, is uh, almost a miracle. So the question is, um, we seem to have a lot of, uh, of uh, unrestricted uh, cash in our bank accounts at this point, a lot. Um, and the question is, is there some recommendation that you would make? Do we have a, a, too much, not enough? Should we be thinking about where we are on, on, a, from a, uh, uh, on an unrestricted cash basis right now? Well, personally, cash is king, and I, I don't think you can ever have too much of it. So, uh, uh, but you, you, are, you are correct. You do have a lot. You do have a lot of unrestricted um, deposition, which you typically don't see. Um, I mean, I... Personally, I think it's it's a tremendous accomplishment that the fact that you've operated all these years and to have zero debt is, you know, I can't say enough. Is personally, I don't think too much. Again, you can never have too much. Um, you have you have money. You have it invested. Again, to the to as much as you can by law. Um, you know, the state of Maryland dictates how much you can invest in, in what items mm -hmm. um, so you do have the excess cash invested um, so personally I I don't think you can ever have too much okay I and mean, the reason I ask I, I you know I agree you, you always want to be in a strong cash position if you can but um, for my involvement in the in a large homeowners association there was typically a recommendation for you should have X percent of your annual budget or some rule of thumb like that in cash and in fact, for an HOA, because of the accounting regulations, uh, if you had more money than a certain amount, then the IRS would come after you for taxes on an otherwise tax-exempt organization. So I just didn't know if there were any rules of thumb or thoughts of relating to a city. Or again, usually, usually the rules of thumb you're you're looking the other way because most people don't have enough in their unrestricted or they're unrestricted. You know, they had a bad year. Um, you know unforeseen circumstances you know three blizzards or you know your snow removal costs jumped astronomically price of fuel automatically you know spikes um, so you can have losses that you weren't anticipating or budgeting for and those can those can eat into a an unrestricted um, so I call it fun balance all the time um, it, it can eat into that very quickly if you're not careful so uh, again, the rules of fund are typically going the other way because most people don't have enough. So we're in such an unusual situation that, that there are no rules of thumb. That, that, that is, that's a fair statement. That's yes. great. Okay, thank you. Any other questions?